Alright, so uh, just here, you can see some crocodile prints, um, very interesting, we're going to have to be very careful from now on. Alright, so you can see all these uh, bushes along here, uh, we don't know when a croc could come out of here, because this is like the natural habitat of the croc. Yeah, like, oh, Alright, so right there you can see our croc track where it comes in every single day, and it goes right up into there, pretty scary. So we're going to try and avoid that. Um, oh, you can see the tail. Yeah, you can see where it's sliding. Where it slid right in there. Oh, Honestly, this dam is just a perfect place for crocodiles. When the um, rivers flood, um, the crocodiles, you know, they get trapped in here because the water's come down really, really quickly around here. And uh, they just can't get out. Right, so one of the things in croc country that you've got to be very careful of is you see this dark coloured water, like if I get in right and close, it's very hard to see to the bottom. I think you guys get the point. And for all I know, there could be a croc just out there. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, we just made it across. The, you can see the croc that's um, just out there. You can see the ripples and everything, and oh, that was so scary. Honestly, I don't think... Oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna get for that next. Uh, all right, here we go. He's going through. All right, Alex, okay. Uh, all right. There she is. Uh, you can't really see her at the moment, but we we'll walk over a bit. See her come into frame. Honestly, don't know who made this, so I don't know who's, how sturdy it's going to be. Either it's going to sink or um, it's going to float. I don't know, we can probably just leave everything on the ground over here. Great. Yeah. Uh, we don't have oars or anything, we only got this stick, so... Hopefully the water's not too deep, so, um... Yeah. Alright, we'll give that a shot. Yeah, we're headed out. There's a croc over there. Oh shit, you see it? Honestly, oh. on this dinge pot raft, I do not trust croc. Yeah, thankfully there are only fresh water crocs in here, so... <laughs> should be okay. Alright, I'm gonna get us an underwater shot. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is waterproof. Oh, this, I guess we're gonna find out. Yo, I'm walking through the water here and it does not feel good. Yeah, you gotta be careful with crocs. Oh, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is about where right, we're going. gonna go under. Tell us if you see any coins. Oh my gosh. Where'd it go? I'm not hopping in that water ever again. No, I'm Unless we're on the raft, of course, because the raft's safe. Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Stop me. Snake bite. Yep. And when you're a long way from the nearest hospital, Snake. you've got to act fast. Over there, just getting some wood. I don't think he was venomous. But, oh, yeah, there it is there. Bucker got me. Got his fangs in. Okay. I'm going to have to treat this and get some medical help. First thing, do not panic. Okay, remain calm. If you panic, it causes a heart to beat and causes the venom to go around the body. Body, we don't want that to happen. Secondly, immobilize the limb with a piece of, piece of, whoop, just like this one, loop. Okay, this'll do, this is just fine. Pop that down there, just next to the limb. And what you need, and I carry one of these all the time, is a pressure bandage. Very handy in a situation like this. And you pop that around there, because this too will help to immobilize the limb and uh, stop the blood from flowing around the body into the heart 
because once it gets up into there, you get yourself into real trouble because that's where you don't want it to get back around there. Just immobilizing it. It's certainly different from the old days. Remain calm and as quickly as possible, get yourself to hospital and get some proper medical help. Just a matter of help. Did it. Luckily, I was given the all clear at the local bush hospital, and it was soon time to. Hit farm tracks again.